what really clicked for us was in 2016, 17, when we were looking at fasting, ketogenic diet, hey, can you drink a ketone? When we started looking through the literature, we saw that in the early 2000s, DARPA, the Defense Advanced Research Project Agency, a lot of people know that because DARPA created the internet and they generally investigate frontier technologies that like decades later see the light of day. So DARPA in the early 2000s had this program called Operation Metabolic Dominance. Pretty badass. Hmm. And it's amazing. <laughs> and in that they were looking at ketones because of a lot of what we've been discussing here, where they had these hypotheses that, hey, ketones are a substrate. They can help with all sorts of things. What happens if we give them to soldiers in these different contexts? What about in hypoxia, low oxygen? What about when they're sleep deprived? What about here, there? We know that they're really interesting. Their dynamic is a substrate. What happens if we supply them in these different contexts? So DARPA did the foundational work in early 2000s with the National Institute of Health. And they created, it was extremely expensive. It was $20,000 a drink and wow. tasted absolutely insane. Just battery acid, crazy. But they did some of the basic science around it where they showed some of these key findings around like the efficiency of ketones. They proved out that, hey, you could you can make a ketone. You can, you can pass it through your GI system. It's safe. So they did some of the core basic stuff. And then as DARPA tends to do, like, like they established that it was feasible, but then kind of left it up to the left it up to the reader to complete the exercise. Like they basically left it on a shelf until we in 2016, 17 started looking at it. And we said, hey, okay, ketones are clearly having a moment. Like we're a lot of people are are doing all these fasting, ketogenic diet, bulletproof, all that, all those things that we've been talking about. Why don't why don't we figure out how to actually scale this out? So we were the first to make it at scale, bring it out to the market. You you tried it out, the HVMN ketone version one. It was still pretty expensive. We, it was $30 a dose. Um, it tasted, still tastes pretty crazy, but it was like, you could you could drink it. And for us, that then locked, that then unlocked a $6 million contract with US Special Operations Command, where once we were able to make it at scale, we were able to, re-engage with the DOD and say, hey, okay, like, let's, let's try this in a broader context where we're getting hundreds of people in these different contexts that we're really interested in studying. So we got that going and we started making it broadly available to, I mean, at that price point, it was, we say it was broadly available. Like you could buy it on our website, but <laughs> realistically, you know, $30 a drink, the people who were having it were all high, like extremely high yeah. performance tour, yeah. to, tour to France athletes was a big market for us. Like, super baller execs were drinking it here and there. Uh, it was still very like upper echelon product. This is all pulled along. Like, our first big customer on it was the DOD. And then as that progressed, that's where we had the light bulb moment of, okay, like the way that Peter Thiel frames things up, like the what's the big secret that you know that no one else knows? Like It's like, okay, either we are insane and we are on this out on this limb and we're we're just like drinking our own kool-aid drinking our own ketones literally <laughs> or this is this is big like the way that collagen has proliferated or the way that cbd yep. has proliferated or the way caffeine has proliferated like ketones Adaptogens. either we're insane or ketones are the next caffeine or cbd i don't know schrodinger's box like we the only way to know <laughs> is to observe the only like and, yes. and my co-founder and i on our team we had enough conviction around it based on what we were seeing from our work with SOCOM, based on what we were seeing with elite performers that, hey, like, there's something here. If we can, if we continue marching down the cost curve on this and make this broadly available, make it more palatable, make it more accessible, do the hard work of just educating and, and, and helping people understand this and how this relates, making metabolic health, which is kind of like scary or complex or not not like the your typical cocktail conversation around metabolic health it would if we can broach that and get people thinking about it you know people were not always thinking about personal computers yep now everyone has a computer in their pocket so if we can cross that chasm if we can take the big secret that we know that no one else knows and make it mainstream that seemed really interesting it seemed very hard and challenging and you know as an entrepreneur it's it's been interesting seeing other other companies like succeed and fail and move move and as we've been focused on what what we've been doing it's it's been fun it's been a, it's been a challenge and but i we're we've turned this corner in the last i would say like six months where 
basically everything that we've been building towards for the last four or five years is coming true where it's it's like we are in we are crossing the chasm i i would say we're still in the early innings but like we're maybe in inning two no longer in inning one like we we've crossed some threshold where it seems like it's actually taking off in the mainstream way